yeah. meet at the most south southern point of Africa, oh, okay. the tip of Africa, yeah. which normally they think that it meets here. Yeah. 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 But this is not a point where the two oceans meet. Ah, okay. no. It meets much further. The yeah. most southern point, as you can see, yeah. even yeah. this point is lower ah, than this yeah, point. Exactly. So there's yeah. another point out here, yeah, yeah. Yeah. which is about 300 kilometers in two and a half hours drive oh, along yeah. this way okay, to, okay. to get to this post and this mm. is the most south yeah. point southern point of the african con mm. this is the tip of africa mm. okay, okay, okay. and um, um but what we're gonna do we're gonna do this oh, yeah. okay so and i'm gonna go all around here yeah from the uh, from cape town all the way down here on this blue line okay and then eventually get to musenberg from musenberg we're gonna make a stop yeah, and yeah. then um, uh, we're gonna get out, and I will explain to you. Yeah. And then from there, we're gonna go all along yeah. Fishhook, Simon's Town to go to Boulders, yeah. to get to the um, uh, to the penguins. Penguins, yeah. yeah. And from there, we're gonna make our way in here at the at this um, area, which is the um, the Cape of Good Hope. Okay. We're gonna make our way down to the Cape of Good Hope, and then okay. up to Cape Point. Okay. And then we're gonna come out all the way. Okay. If by any, I mean, if you feel that like you're a little bit um, hungry or want to eat something, mm. yeah. it's a beautiful restaurant yeah. out here um, in Noorduk. Yeah. Mm. Of course, we are very hungry. We are going yeah. to eat. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. 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 Sure. And it's also it's it's gonna be on a wine farm. I will uh, I will make the necessary ah, okay. up, uh, um. um a uh, uh, lunch reservation yeah. where yeah. you can also if you want to okay. you can have a tasting out there okay. and then we're going to continue with our drive after lunch okay. we're going to uh, go around Chapman's Peak from Chapman's Peak we're going to go to Hout Bay from Hout Bay we're going to go all the way back up into Cape Town again okay, okay, okay. that is basically the, ru the route that we're going to take okay. all along here Perfect. so we're going to make a circular drive okay. come the one way and go back the other way and yes that yeah. is the meeting point, but you also can't see with the naked eye. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And because you're gonna stand on the shore and you're gonna look and and yes, it says that uh, um, geographically, yeah, geographically, yeah. it yeah. says that is the meeting yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. But if you ask the oceanographer, yeah, he will tend to say, yeah, it moves. Uh -huh. it mo yeah. Depending on the temperature, uh -huh. so it moves from one area to the other area. Mm -hmm. It is not; it's never stable. But yeah. that line is there. Okay. The line is there. But of course, it's a man-made line. Yeah. It's not that, you know, it's, it's in the, not in the nature. No. We say that it's, this is Atlantic and this is Indian. Yes. Yeah, ocean, yeah. No, 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 no. Basically explains that the two oceans yeah. that comes, yeah. the Atlantic Ocean and yeah. the Indian Ocean uh, like this, yeah. and they don't mix. And they don't mix? They don't mix. Mm. Okay. They are separate mm. and that is the line. But if you are airborne, if you are in the air, uh, yes. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you go yeah, to that point, then you will be able to see yeah. the difference in the color of water. Uh, yeah. okay, okay. Okay. And from yeah. from my mother's side, yeah, Germany. Oh, so you are But this place, is the yeah. people that were. Yeah. The, uh, these were the people that came down here. Yeah. yeah. That came down here, and um, uh, they basically yeah. formed this this country. You speak? Do you speak Dutch? Yeah, I speak Afrikaans. Afrikaans, yeah. yes, yeah. Afrikaans, yeah. We, which is a compilation. Yeah. Let yeah. me. Let yeah. me start from the beginning. Yeah. Oh, let me start from the the time that the the Dutch came down here. Yeah, okay. When they came down here in 1652 on the sixth of April. Sixth of April. Sixth of April. They tried to enslave. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, okay. Fifty-two. Sixteen fifty-two. Oh, a gentleman by the name of John van Riebeek. Okay. He came down here. Okay. With three of his uh, uh, ships okay. or boats okay. at that time. Okay. Um. um to uh, uh, to okay. uh, to build a halfway station okay. in 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 Cape Town. Okay. And um, um, when he came down here and he mm. tried to enslave the indigenous people, the yeah. black people. Okay. But these people, they could easily run away. Yeah. They knew exactly where to go to, yeah. and they couldn't be enslaved. And also, the most important why they needed these people yeah. was. For the labor, labor, okay. For the labor, okay. And uh, but remember, these people, yeah. they don't know how to make clothes other than to yeah. cover their front. Okay. Even the women, they were topless. Okay. okay. The women, the men, everybody was topless. Okay. They only had a cover okay. in front of her, uh, in front of them. Okay. And uh, for this reason, yeah. they couldn't be. They they didn't make use of the. Of the uh, 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 the indigenous people, so they brought in people from other countries, uh -huh. people that came into resistance to them. 
Okay. They will bring down the earth okay. to completely disorientate them. Okay. And um, and when they did that, yeah. that is how the yeah. different people from different countries came over. Okay. Um, um, uh, um, the uh, uh, from Indonesia, yeah. from uh, uh, from Malaysia, yeah. people from India, Sri Lanka, yeah. Yeah. Um, Mozambique, yeah. Central Africa, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, West Africa. All of these people were brought down here to the Cape, okay. Okay. and they assisted with the labor, okay. because many of these people yeah. were many of these people yeah. were the artisans. Okay. Awesome. They were the artisans. They could construct. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Uh, 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 furniture, they could build furniture, yeah. they could build the houses, and this is what the Dutch needed. Okay, 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 okay. And uh, just to jump a little bit more to the um, uh, more um, um, in, in time of history, yeah. and when the British came, yeah. they basically yeah. emancipated. I'm gonna fill up all the holes, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. fill up everything. Yeah. Um, uh, it is just because we are now here in this yeah. area. Robben Island has always been a place yeah. where people was kept away from the mainland. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was no buildings there no. at that no. time. No. Yes, it became world famous with Nelson Mandela, but yeah. at a very early time, yeah. during the 1400s, people yeah. were left yeah. on Robben Island yeah. where a passing sub, whatever you have transgressed on the route, yeah. they will drop you off at Robben Island, yeah. a passing sub will come in and pick you up and take you too so that you can go and stand try wherever you, okay. you, 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 you were supposed to go. Um, that was formerly known yeah. as the Malay Quarters. The Malay Quarters. Okay. Malay, this was known as because yeah. Muslim, they were Muslim, yeah. And, uh, yeah. but yeah. this was how they defined yeah. the people. Yeah. Which yeah. means that you know 99.9% .9 of the Muslim people that you, you are referring to, uh, many of them are Malays, Malay descendants. This, this was only a name that was given to yeah. To to the people, yeah. Uh, uh, the people that manage South Africa, yeah. they they said to to uh, they said to us there was a very 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 small percentage, not point not not one percent of people came from yeah. Malaysia. Ah. Most of the people came from Indonesia, Indonesia, and, and from India. India. So, but because yeah. uh, uh, it is synonymous to if you are Muslim. Yeah. Then it means that you came from Malay. Malay yeah. Yes, yeah, but that is where the, the okay. and but not many people came actually from Malaysia. Malaysia. Okay, yes. okay, 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 okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, got it. And got many it. people have that. Yes, they. I'm not saying there wasn't any people. Yes, there were people that yeah. came from Malaysia, but a very small percentage. Okay, so Meaning that I'm Malay and I'm Muslim and I came. Uh, I'm, uh, my four base came from Malaysia. Yeah. But yeah. Then yeah. we uh, many people objected to it, but yeah. we didn't come. Our parents, our forefathers, didn't really come from Malaysia. Yeah. We come from Indonesia. Indonesia. So they then, when I went to go rest, uh, when I became 16 years old, so I applied for my ID identification card yeah. Yeah. or book, shall I say? Yeah. And then yeah. I became a Cape Colored. Colored. Col a Cape colored, and this was now in the 1970s. What is colored actually? I'm a mixture between a white person ah. and a black person. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. A uh, yeah. Okay. That was, I mean, many, many government, yeah. many, many government, if you apply, yeah. especially at government, when yeah. you apply at the, at government for a, for a job, yeah, yeah, you have to fill in your race, uh, uh, define who we are. Can we just be South African? And, 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 and this is what I wanted to say to you. Yeah. Is that um, um, after I, I became a Cape, uh, a Cape Malay and, uh, and a Cape Colored, Colored, meaning that I'm from Cape Town, yeah. uh, I'm a colored person from Cape Town and not a colored person from Johannesburg or from the Eastern Cape or from the Northern Cape. I'm yeah. a colored person from Cape Town. Yeah. I later then became when I just got recently, a, uh, a couple of years ago, um, um, a few years ago, about 2018, yeah. uh, I have to renew my I, my ID. Yeah. And yeah. I got a card, yeah. which is where it says yeah. South African. Oh. Only today. Only today. Only recently. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, but this was how they defined us. Okay. And and uh, this is the time during the apartheid. Okay. You know, there was always apartheid. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was not. It was never known as apartheid. No, no. It was never known as apartheid, but there there was always a separation. Yeah. You um um. It only became official. Yeah. In 1952. Yeah. It became official. 
Letter to South Africa. Um, okay. Where they pass a law in 1952, they pass a law that became known as the Group Areas Act. Uh -huh. became where people were separated if you were say for instance if this was the and, and this was one of the areas yeah. that was completely untouched yeah. they didn't touch this even Cape Town Cape yeah. Town is a white area basically means bow yeah. means up, live up, up. up. Okay. yes carp means city Cape Town Cape Town ah. carp Cape yes yeah, yeah. okay uh, uh, bow carp yeah it, people in this area yeah it, they they have known this area yeah. all the years yeah. since they came in uh, um, to live in here. They yeah. they, uh, they 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 know this area as Bukap. Bukap. But by the authorities and by the by the maps of mm. yesteryear, yeah. it was known as the Cape Malay area. Oh, oh. It was known as the Cape. But this was how they define you. They, yeah. they uh, I mean, they class you. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, I mean, automatically when you say Cape Malay, they yeah. know you are a colored person, that you are a mixture between, uh, um, um, between a, 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 a white person and a black person. And this when they, when slavery was emancipated in 1834 okay. the slaves at that time still had to work a four years as an apprentice okay. so in 1838 they were completely free okay. but at that time yeah. gold was discovered in Johannesburg okay gold was so yeah. all the Dutch that stayed down here yeah they move up to the north after the gold rush okay. and that became known as the great move the okay. great trek okay. trek means move in no. uh, um, trek is Afrikaans word yeah. so they move out of Cape Town the great trek they move with their yeah. oxen wagons and slowly heading down to Johannesburg yeah. and that was how Johannesburg was discovered yes, no, yeah, okay. and um, um, so the that so these these houses became empty. Yeah. Because okay. the the Dutch move out. Okay. The slaves that were now free, they yeah. move into these houses. Okay. Mm. Okay. They move into these houses down here. Okay. And um, uh, but at the time all of these houses were all white was painted. Okay. okay. And but remember there was also no paint. So okay. what did they do? Yeah. So they were collect they will go down to the seashore. Yeah. Collect seashells. Ah seashells, okay. Burn it into kilns kilns. Okay. okay. Into ovens, big ovens, they will burn it. Yeah. Make it into a powder. Yeah, yeah. Mix it with water. Yeah. And paint the houses. So okay. all of the houses were whitewashed because remember there was no paint. Okay. But this was used for paint basically. Okay, okay. okay. And it's area that was known as District 6. Okay. District 6. Yeah. Where everybody lived in harmony. Yeah. Where yeah. everybody lived in harmony, yeah. whether you were black, whether you were Indian, yeah. whether you were uh, uh, colored, whether you were Jew, whether you were German, yeah. whether you from uh, uh, just South African white person, yeah. that's why, why South Africa was, everybody lived in harmony. Yeah. The authorities decided yeah. that we need to separate these people. Mm -hmm. And this is how, and they placed many of these people yeah. on the Cape Flats. And it already started in the 1960s. Yeah. In the ninth, uh, um, remember I said 19, uh, 1952, a law was passed, the Group Areas Act was passed. Yeah. It became uh, enforced in the late uh, 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 50s yeah. and, in fo uh, and, and enforced more in the 1960s and 70s. Yeah. It was more enforced where they separated all of the people into different areas. Yeah. That is where yeah. you will find only black people live. Black people in townships. Black people lived in townships oh, even until today, and they will use that term yeah. even today. Even today, even today, on, yeah. on national TV. Oh man! Through our, through our leaders, yeah. okay. they will still use the black townships. 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 Even Town our our leader, even the current leaders. Okay. Current leader, even our president. Let me say that. Let me be be more bolder. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. they when he talks, he talks about black townships. Yeah still today yeah and yeah but this is where we still find yeah that there's many people yeah. that lives below the bread line below and, the and 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 they live in and i might be we might be going past a black township yeah we might be going there i don't know if you've seen it when you came in from the airport yeah 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 yeah, yeah. there's many you see those centies that is there centies, yeah. that is basically term as a and, yeah. and you won't find any colored people living there 
No. No colored people live there, only Just black people. Only black people. Okay. But this was how it was uh, 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 defined only no, for that no, people. The thing is, it's a sad story for me to hear. And these uh, areas, these townships, or these areas are, you know, not that popular i mean there are lots of crimes it's a very and, they are very dangerous places and so, like that you know. but this is what they tend to own and want people to be in that in, yeah. in that situation where they are continuously on drugs where yeah. they are continu continuously uh, uh, intoxicated with uh, with wine and whatever not like and and this is how they tend to keep the people but when it comes to and sometimes this is the thing that they want to keep the people exactly. It's not the people that and, yeah. and, and we would think we yeah. would think yeah. that uh, because we have a new government yeah we have a new government yeah. where they will tend to be I mean upgrade certain areas or yeah. especially the towns to get away from that connotation of township life yeah. and whatever no like yeah. get away from that yeah. get try to try to educate and most importantly and this is something that Nelson Mandela yeah. basically advised and yeah. encouraged yeah. Uh, and advocated he, he, that every person needs to have an education. Education. It is, n and, and yes, at a certain time uh, yeah. when he was very much alive, yeah. you would see that people, parents yeah. were, were held responsible yeah. if your child don't go to school. Very good. That's it good. is not enforced in, m anymore today. Oh, no, today a... it is not being in, enforced anymore. No. Okay. Uh, as you need to stand responsible. So we still find, and this is what happened in the townships. Okay. okay. Where many of these youngsters, yeah. they tend to, um, uh, they tend to not go to school, this, because they yeah. tend to only be in that, yeah. in that, uh, uh, um, um, not being educated, yeah. being a laborer. Yeah. You tend to yeah. want to do some other things in order to get money to to uh, um, to because you see all your friends that uh, that is working yeah. they have nice cars you yeah. also want to have a nice yeah, car yeah, yeah, so yeah. what's happening is fair enough i understand they yeah. tend to get involved in okay, okay okay and 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 that is basically and yeah. and yes sometimes yeah. we see many people yeah. uh, um the drug lords and whatever not like they they see that they can use these people yeah. and and in for them yeah. To 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 be able to live in this beautiful house, yeah. they need to employ some people, yeah. and uh, that is uh, that is not really a, 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 um, um, a contributor to uh, to to the community yeah. or whatever. Not like and they in they uh, they employ these people to to do all the crimes for them. Yeah. At the end, the child basically yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, get involved in crime, go to prison, spend yeah. their whole life in prison, yeah, 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 yeah. and then. Um, yeah, but that is the some sometimes the the, the situations that we have yeah, out yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting.